two. And I'm very curious to see how they come out of the gates because when you look back at the history, G2 has had NRG's number the past four matches and NRG probably has that in the back of their minds. Chicago gonna be streaking back. J Naps, low on boost, will get the corner now. Trees getting beaten to the ball. Garrett popped that up. J Naps will poke it downfield. Justin stopping and switchy with great speed goes towards net and a save from Drees. And a pinch will clear it out. Yeah, that was a nice save there. Forced to show his mechanics, forced to show his speed and reaction time, and he answered the call, but he misses off the back wall. This could be huge. Chicago, J Naps, a little tie up on the back line. No one going for it. Andrea saves the day, but it's right to Squishy, and the crossbar denies. Garrett, the late challenge, and it was enough. Garrett had zero boost, and I don't think the defender was expecting him to make this play. Yeah, nobody thought he was just going to slow play this. Chicago thought the quick shot was coming, but like you said, no boost means he can't get to it quick enough. But hey, Garrett G will take it, and NRG go up one in the first minute. And that was actually an amazing wave dash from Garrett G on the corner as well to pick up some extra speed despite being low on boost. Garrett has been really showing his mechanics as of late. Uh, his double taps, his flip resets, always so clean. And even that time, a savvy little wave dash. Uh, yeah, it's those, naps. those micro mechanics, right? Those things you don't really see unless you're looking at them under a microscope and like, oh yeah, he did wave dash, didn't he? Oh, those little things do translate to goals. Is great save to Squish from Squishy over to Justin. And NRG rolling on defense, but that double commit could cost him. It's squishy trying to get in the way of Drees. Drees being stopped by Justin Garrett. will leave this for Squishy. j -Naps with the challenge. Now Drees turning. He's got nothing, but still gets a pass up. G2 on the attack. Squishy getting the boost taken from right in front of his face. G2 is trying to starve out NRG. Justin, a nice tap. Well, I said nice a little too early. That one actually went right out into the middle. It's good that he made contact, but the placement where he put it, not so nice. Squishy happy to air dribble this out and buy some time for his teammates to get boost. Oh, good bump. But I put him right in position. Oh, Chicago got the bump on Justin, but Justin able to correct himself mid air, get his wheels on the ground and Ooh. use the momentum to his advantage. Chicago almost getting that. Oh, and a big save on the goal line. Justin stopping Drees. The G2 has been surging offensively. You feel like it's just a matter of time before they get on the board. Yeah, they're working well on offense, but NRG scrambling even better to cover up that goal line as j -Naps. Not the greatest touch, Justin there, and this is wide open. And you better believe it, Garrett G is going to finish. Garrett G has been a huge goal scorer for NRG this one. About as free as it gets. Wide open net. Easy tap in for him. And NRG get their second goal of the game. G2, they've been able to keep it close. And you still think this game is within reach with how well they've been playing. Yeah, they have. And, you know, those little mistakes, yeah, against another team don't seem so big. But NRG there to capitalize on every slight little miscue that you put on that ball as JNAPS. Tried to get that between Garrett G and Squishy and Drees up in the air. Met well by Justin. Good challenge in midair to win that ball. Garrett. The pop up. Jane Apps will have Drees in support. Drees jumping up and stopped by Garrett. The NRG defense able to get in the way at the last second. Squishy looking to bring this ball upfield all by himself. Goes oh, for a zero no. boost flick oh. off the crossbar. He stays in the play, he reads it. And a genuine solo play here from Squishy. Oh, just nasty. Look at that flick over the defender. No one's expecting it in a very favorable bounce for Squishy. And he finishes that one off and you gotta think 3-0, about a minute and a half to go. This one has to go NRG's way. And that's gonna take some wind out of the sails of G2, G2. They started off looking threatening. They forced NRG to make a few saves here and there. Did a good job of boost starving NRG for the most part. But you even see that play. Uh, low boost, Squishy managed to score in earlier. Garrett, low boost, managed to score. So NRG, despite being 
uh, Boostar are still managing to make plays. Yeah, that's what you got to do. A lot of times in RLCS, you're not going to have the most boost, at least not what you want to work with. So you got to be comfortable having a nice little bit read. less in the gas tank than you think. And Squishy, big win there over Chicago. And you got to think this high flying in the midair really, really just favors NRG right now, taking a lot of time off the clock. Oh, but Justin has been a brick wall. You saw him making that read off the backboard earlier, which was a really tough read. And then dodging the bump, getting that save. NRG, they get a lot of credit for their offense, but their defense also is world class. Yeah, and the ability to correct and see those demos or bumps coming on the goal line and being able to either reverse out of the way, break so the player flies right by them. It's just so fun to watch them, even just off ball, doing the most mundane tasks. They make it look so easy when in reality, it is very difficult what they're doing. That's really what makes the pros so fun to watch, especially the, the elite players like all of NRG. And, you know, most of G2 as well. I think Dree's looking to add his name to that list, but it's going to need more time for that young gun coming in. Did a respectable job here in game one, but NRG were just playing at that next level. Despite being kept on low boost, they find ways to score. Only one goal assisted as well. So the solo plays from Garrett and Squishy helping add that uh, that extra layer of security here for NRG. I mean, this looks very reminiscent of their game earlier up against Ghost. A lot of unassisted plays, and it led to just easy goals, but the defense was the big thing for NRG. You see that big save there on the goal line from Justin, and then the passing plays. NRG just making it work up and down the field, but you know, I want to turn the attention over to Drees because this is his first big series. This is the first one where there's a lot of eyes on him and the nerves have to be out the window. Now game one is done and dusted. Game two is where you got to put on the business coat and get to work. Yeah, because if you lose this one to NRG, it's going to be such a long journey back into the series. Certainly not an impossibility, but this is that bounce back game. That's so important for anybody who's facing NRG. NRG just recently in the grid finishing 9-0 oh one day, and they played Envy that day as well. Every single game going to overtime, but NRG has been on a huge win streak and Trees trying to slow things down. Did get a big save there. NRG on the attack early. You see Chicago and Trees both jumping for that. Garrett with the corner boost steal. JNAP's having to deflect this off to the side. Garrett will be in the middle. Justin was upfield already, and that's one thing you'll notice about NRG is players, despite making that first hit will stay in a play. Look for that pass from a teammate and sometimes get those cherry pick goals. Well, uh, let's see what we got here, Drees. But Garrett G beats him to that ball. Didn't even give him time to get up to that ceiling. I don't think he had the boost to get there anyway, but Chicago Whoa. goes left side. I think he saw Justin with a uh, misposition in the net. And you see uh, JNAP's threatening the shot, keeping Justin grounded, keeping the defense guessing. And Chicago calling him off. And that was a great shot. Well-placed top corner. And G2, solid start here to game two. Yeah, make them make them think. Show multiple options that, hey, we can shoot from here. We can shoot from there. And you got to guess which way we're going. And right there, NRG just guessed wrong as Chicago gets a pass off the backboard. No one can read from NRG. JNAPS fires low, but well off the mark there. And NRG is going to roll with this transition offense down the field. But met in the air by Chicago, and the speed of this match is going to be just so fun. It's going to keep us on the edge of our seats the entire series, James. Yeah, these are amazing teams out of North America. G2 and RG both going to be finishing at the top of the group no matter what. And this game going to determine who gets that first play seed, which is important because, you know, if you get second here, you're going up first round in the knockout gauntlet up in that winner section. You're going up against the Pioneers, whereas if you win, the uh, if you win the group, you're going to be going against Stromboli, and I think many people would rather play Stromboli than Pioneers, especially after witnessing that last series. Absolutely, you know, especially yeah, Stromboli's been hot. They started out 3-0, but when you look at KCP, it's the consistency that I've been looking at. Yeah, they didn't have the greatest winter performance, but fall and then this spring, they've been on fire. So definitely don't want to go up against them, especially given NRG's last performance. Uh, during the last regional where they looked hot to start with just like they do now, but days three and four, they really faltered. 
Not faltering here on defense. Justin going to take this upfield, going to go for the 50. Will push, push it up to the side, or the ceiling rather. Drees out to JNaps, who hits it high. We'll get a backward bounce, but Garrett read it. Nice touch from Justin. He'll pass it across the field. Squishy racing to it. Who's too far away. Squishy still getting a piece of it, though. See Justin streaking in for the challenge. Garrett up off the ceiling. Chicago didn't get the touch. 50 through. Now it's up to JNaps. JNaps perhaps trying to pass that out. G2 keeping some possession here. On the attack, the light shot. Squishy and Chicago locked head to head. And Chicago jumped out of it. I don't blame him. This is a very important game and you don't want to give your teammates a 2v2 against Squishy and Justin or Squishy, Garrett, it doesn't matter. You don't want to put them in that situation. But, you know, I'm curious, James, to see if you agree with me. I really feel like G2 with the addition of Drees seem a little faster than with Rizzo. And when they had Rizzo, great team plays and great passing plays but right now it's just going to be finding that timing because it's just a little off right now due to that increase of speed and it, it definitely different play styles rizzo had one of the, the most unique play styles in the game he was a demo heavy player bump heavy player and also went for a lot of mind games uh slowed right. the play down intentionally so it is a completely different play style and i think the jury's oh. still out on uh, whether that makes G2 better or not. And this weekend, we're really going to be able to solidify an opinion. You know, one one thing that's nice to see, though, is it's not it's not glaring like, ooh, this is a bad move. It's OK. I can see G2 working well with this. This is doing well in their favor. They're holding their own against NRG right now. They're up by one. They're about to tie this series up if they can just hang on. And it's they're starting to figure it out on offense. And Chicago almost gets that off the back wall. And Drees keeps the offense alive. Final 30 seconds. G2 need to hold on. Squishy to the corner. Garrett will leave it for him to continue. And it does pinch downfield. Garrett waiting in the middle. g -Nap's taking it up high. Justin with a quick challenge. Chicago booms it downfield. Now NRG going to have to go the distance. It's up high. Garrett. Corner pass. Justin's already up. The oh! shot. Oh, Justin does it again. Zero seconds, zero problems for Justin. If there's any team that's going to get it done with zero across the board, it's NRG. And who better to do it than Justin? Justin, the wonder kid, really. He has ice water pump through his veins. Absolutely, nerves of steel. It doesn't matter how, how much field he needs to cover. When that ball is in mid air and zero seconds, he's cool as a cucumber. Now a chance for NRG to steal this game. G2, gonna have to battle back. Now would be a great time for Drees to make his statement. Jay Naps will pop it up, chase it down as well. Lobs towards net. Light tap from Justin over to Squishy. Chicago will recover. Goes for the infield pass, but Garrett hits it downfield. Now racing to it. Low boost for Jay Naps. Jay Naps, the best hit for him. Justin going for net. Ooh. Chicago stretched to make that save. Now going to get a flip reset. No, he just goes for the tap, trying to buy some time for his teammates. Garrett got that corner boost steal. This is looking threatening for NRG. Chicago had to use a lot of boost going up for that ball, and thankfully they get the clear, but he's still looking and finally got that big 100 pad on his back end, but he's out of the play for now, and Justin, 1v1, gets the flick, the ball's up in the air, and Chicago gets the save. Oh. G2 is lucky that Garrett did not have a better line on that ball. Could have finished it there, or at least got the backboard rebound. But NRG... Staying in it, squishy, low boost. We'll have to get out, and he doesn't find anything at the mid. This could be a chance for G2. Oh, there it is. Freeze. The low shot, it's gonna be wide. Squishy has nothing, however, to get the clear. Garrett stuck in reverse, awkward ball. Justin gonna try to get the corner, he does. And he's taking it downfield. Justin, a one-man show right now. And Squishy racing to it. Off the corner, off the ceiling now. Chicago 
will boom it up. Garrett pre-jumped. And off to the corner, a nice win from Justin there. Dries and Squishy will race to it. And it's pinched all the way back. Garrett misses the hit out in front of net. JNAP trying to clean up and he does Woo! not do it. Justin with a clutch save. He's doing it all. Oh, and look at the positioning he had. He reversed to cover up that backside, knowing I can boost if he shoots it in front of me. And he does exactly that. But Chicago, a little bit of space. And Dries there for the cover up. Looking to finish it, but Squishy there on that side wall. Back and forth we go here in overtime. Oh man, this would be a steal if NRG managed to do it. G2, <laughs> you feel like they've done enough work to earn it, but will they get it? That's the question. Just in the 50, Dries up and picks up corner as well. It's gonna have tons of boost to work with here. Light tap down, JNAPS. Has the play broken up by Justin. Oh, and a team bump as well. Uh -oh. That's going to slow Chicago down. He gets demoed. And space now for NRG. That team bump was disastrous. Yeah, completely turned this ball over. And now Justin's coming up off the ceiling. Uncontested. Gets the shot, but a little too high. And Garrett G can't finish the ball. But G2 doing a great job of holding this goal line down. And momentum continues to swing to the orange half, to the blue half. And still, the name of the game right now is just defensive prowess. Squishy will have to buy time. He's got one third of the tank to work with. And it proves to be enough. Makes two defenders miss. But Jane Ass collects the ball. Justin trying to get into position. The shot no. near post. Jane Apps, a clutch goal. And Justin can't believe his eyes. He didn't think there was any room to work with. Uh, I don't blame him. I didn't think there was any window to shoot at, and JNAP saw it cracked just enough to fire it through. What an angle to take on that shot. Now, that right there is a veteran move. Now, that's a, a slap shot from the corner where you think there's no angle, and there's about a degree that you can get this ball in on, and that's exactly the line that JNAP's took. That was such an important goal. You you know in your heart if Gene 2 loses that game in this fashion where Justin scores the zero second goal and then NRG win in overtime, you might as well write G2 out of this one already at that point. So clutch goal for JNAPS, big time plays. And uh, you just look at the scoreboard. It, it was JNAPS in Chicago getting on the board for G2. Dree's playing well, but still looking for that impact play from the young player. But uh, regardless, he's fitting in well, and this G2 squad able to keep up with an NRG team that's been dusting almost everybody else. Yeah, Dries still looking for his first goal of the series, like you're saying. But right now, I think he's playing very well. It doesn't look like there's a, a player that's misrepresented on the field right now for G2. All of them plug and play very well in that rotation. And once they get those infield passes going a little better, I think it's going to be a little tricky for NRG. But... Rocket League, a game of highs and lows, and I'm so glad to see the G2 was able to over overcome that last second goal from NRG and just stick with it. NRG now, perhaps a bit deflated. It's always nice when you get that second life, but it is disappointing that you cannot close it out. Dries misses the ball. Not the best flick from Chicago. Shot has to be defended. Justin letting the so ball bounce space. back. I don't see how Justin keeps going so uncontested down the field. It's like they just want to give him room and want to get styled on. But Chicago finds the tight angle again for G2. And he just he gets off the wall and even setting up that touch, the, the hit into the corner, Chicago, wonderful first touch, staying in the play, a second effort goal. And G2 finding success on that near post. And both times have been the left side of it as well. We'll see if G2 can keep making that work. Teams have been well matched, even game one, despite NRG winning that game convincingly on the score sheet. You just saw it play out. They were struggling to get boost. G2 is doing a great job of keeping them on their heels. And our G, well matched with this G2 squad. G2, now on the counter. Drees, big lob. Suffice himself with that corner boost. Drees, pops it up to Chicago. Chicago. 
Going for the double. Oh, off the crossbar. <laughs> Rebound out to JNAPS. And now Dries going for the air dribble play. No, it goes for the flip reset. You saw that double tap from Chicago. Almost picture perfect. Oh, I mean, right when I saw him connect with that ball and the angle of approach that he took, I knew that he had a good look at it. But just inches from getting tucked in under that crossbar. And here comes NRG. Squishy couldn't find the double himself. And right now, G2 looking like the favorites here in game three, but NRG trying to tie this game up and they can't get it done. And they might hear the demo, the boost stealing, but that clear downfield. That's so important. Chicago, it's gonna be big for this G2 team to recover. Garrett, getting into open space in the corner. Now looking for a high center. Squishy beating Drees. It's over to Garrett. Garrett shot. Oh. It's in. Might have even caught the post a bit. Oh, he caught the right post for sure. But good pass from Squishy and Garrett G putting a little English on it to roll that ball into the back of the net right at halftime. That's a well placed shot. Posting in. Chicago trying to defend it. That post bounce making it impossible. Got about half the game left to play. The neck and neck. Oh, Chicago! Oh. Him and JNAV have been the tip of the spear, and they thrust through for another goal. Well, look at this 50. Oh, disgusting. Just completely neutralizes that ball on the goal line. Chicago just has to come home and get a good solid touch on it. And just like that, G2 answer 15 seconds later. Yeah, that was the perfect 50, wasn't it, Subi? Getting behind the ball, making sure it has nowhere to go, but right back out in front of net. Ball up high. It's going to be off the arc and down. Chicago got there too early. Could have been that third goal for G2. It's going to leave the door oh, open wow. now for NRG. Drees still... Not able to get that first goal. <laughs> oh man, he can't buy one right now. It's all right. It's all right. He'll get one eventually. He's looking really good and he's getting the passes off and keeping that pressure on. And you know, he's not being hesitant, which is very good to see. He's fitting in nicely. And when you've got Jane Apps in Chicago on the attack, all you gotta do is get them some looks. Justin over to Squishy, Squishy. Beat to the ball by Drees. Garrett, handbrake turn. Pushing it upfield. Chicago now to the corner. Squishy waiting so he can get the corner. But a shot comes in. Garrett oh. getting help from the crossbar will reject that one. For a minute left to play. NRG, they've been scrambling. G2, they have been in control most of the possession in favor of G2, but now a breakout chance. And that's oh, broken well up. Well read. Well read by Chicago there. You can see that pass coming from a mile away. And JNAPS, he's the 50-50 king right now. He's going to be taking that title from Fireburner. Yeah, and you see what he did here. He was trying to, to make Squishy think that he was going to go for a late push on the ball, a late flip, and go high. And you can see that actually got the jump out of Squishy. And as soon as Squishy jumps, JNAP says, okay, I'm just going to push this low, make sure it 50s, and I know I'm going to get it in. Veteran play there from JNAP. Almost seeing another one. Final 20 seconds. A two goal lead now. We'll need to see NRG get one right here. Squishy can't get to the ball in time. Final 10 seconds now, gonna tick away. G2, a great performance, even in game one. They look threatening, you could see the brilliance in their play. And in games two and three, they prove it with back-to-back -back wins. Whew. G2 on fire right now. Cannot be stopped, only allowed one goal for NRG and have just stifled the offense that NRG was bringing out. Sure, game one, they only had one assisted goal, but They've really clamped down and it starts 
you hear me say it a lot, starts at midfield. That's how you can control the entire pitch. It's like taking the center of a boxing ring. You can push your opponent around and dictate the flow of the match. And that's exactly what G2 is doing right now. They're controlling boost. They're controlling the space. And because of that, they're controlling the speed of the game. Yeah, and uh, it's just been impressive what they've been able to do getting to these challenges. Uh, the, the, the creativity as well from G2 has been remarkable and also just hitting some big time shots. J Naps in Chicago have always been deadly players on the offensive end. And uh, this series really highlighting that they are looking phenomenal. Yeah, especially J Naps. He is everywhere right now being on defense, offense, and just being a monster with those 50s. And it is so huge when you can be confident with your 50 50s, your teammates start to trust you a little bit more, start to move up. And you can really cover some ground as Chicago gets this ball. And he's looking to start things off with a bang, gets the flip reset. But Garrett G's there for the clear. Squishy. 50. Send it across net. J Naps straight downfield. Justin catching it on the wall. And he got the mid boost. J Naps going to be on zero. Squishy. That's a nice win. Pressure mounting for NRG, but that extra tap from J Naps will get the first goal here for Dries in the series. And a wonderful jump by J Naps, completely beaten out Justin. You know, I, I really think Justin called out that J Naps didn't have boost right there because that boost spun right underneath his wheels. It never was shown on the screen. And he went from zero to a hundred just in an instant. And the entire defense of NRG was caught sleeping. Yeah, and it makes it even worse because I think uh, he had just gotten the boost stolen from him at midfield too, so they knew he was out. Right. So that uh, that's about as tough as it gets for NRG. Garrett, right towards net. Squishy wanted to get the deflection and field pass. Garrett already up, but didn't make contact. Chicago. Getting beat by Squishy, who's going for the mid. Rebound out to Garrett, up off the backboard. But Garrett did get bumped there by Chicago on the challenge, the so he couldn't go for the double. That's a tough one, Garrett G. Trying to get that bump on Drees there, but Drees a little too quick and a little too slippery. He gets away from him. Would have been an open net, but NRG still chasing. First goal here in game number four. And just again, in case you're just tuning in, NRG was just put on match point by G2 and G2 looking much different than game number one. And I have been extra impressed by J Naps in Chicago. The way that they've been able to generate offense against the team that has been playing the best Rocket League that we've seen them play in a while, NRG. They are nobody to be messed with, but G2 looking like the better team. And now if they can hold on for three minutes, we'll get what I would say is an upset over NRG. And this is what G2 was looking for with that roster change. They want to move from being on the outskirts of, of being the best to being the best. Exactly. And this result is really going to make people think that they have it in them. Yeah, I don't think it was quote unquote necessary. I mean, it's good to see that, you know, Rizzo went out on his own terms. He wants to focus on doing the content creation. And G2 and him parted ways just very nicely. Just quickly moves over as Justin was looking for a dirty little 50-50 there. But it's good to see that, you know, they pick someone up and they're not scrambling to just stay at the top. It's like, okay, we were one of the best teams. We're going to stay one of the best teams with this pickup. Squishy turning. Now it's going to bounce off the corner. Garrett booms it upfield. Squishy has that off the ceiling. Drees, tons of boost. Actually made J Naps a miss. So now open that potentially Garrett going for the shot and he didn't make connection. Also oh. had the opportunity to go for the demo. If he gets the demo, that shot could have just gone in. Shot after shot, NRG trying to make things work, but they're denied over and over again. They're keeping this ball locked in G2's half. NRG just peppering the net right now, but they can't find their target. They're off left, off right, and a little too high as G2 trying to desperately get a clear downfield as Garrett G's there. What a pass towards mid, but G 
two, was able to sniff that one out. And another pass wow. turned away by Dries. My goodness, NRG can do nothing to get a goal right now. But NRG hitting the ball to open space, keeping possession now, a counterattack play. Garrett last back, and he does make the stop. Squishy, popping up, two boosts to work with. Off the ceiling, now he's floating for a while. Garrett, handbrake turn, but a back pass. JNAPS will half flip to it on his own back wall. Trying to clear it out, he's out. Squishy, can he get the double? No, it's broken up by Chicago on the back wall. Now Justin, gonna keep it himself. You see some awkward positioning there with Garrett. Right. Even Garrett still a bit too close behind Squishy and now diving in and he's not able to make contact. This is a good chance though, 3v2, but a save from Huge. Chicago, breaking up that play right as the midfield play was coming into existence. Chicago trying to end this for G2. Squishy catches it, flicks it high. Garrett over to Squishy. Oh, this could oh be a chance. Gosh. Oh my! Oh! That is that? as close as it gets. Almost another zero second goal, but it was not meant to be. And G2 will take the series over NRG three to one. And that was an impressive series from G2. Oh, G2 knows they got away with one there. All of them immediately put their hands on their head and had a big sigh of relief. That ball was millimeters from finding the back of the net and all of G2 committed on it. Big mistake at the final seconds, but ultimately G2 coming out on top. Wow, that was a close call and you could tell G2 having flashbacks back to giving up that zero second goal to Justin, but ultimately G2 winning that in overtime. But uh, who knows which way it would have gone if Justin gets that goal and NRG have another shot at this one. G2 with Dries managed to do what very few teams can and take down an NRG squad. That was impressive. Oh yeah, I'm impressed with the overall team play of G2 and it just looks like a brand new revitalized G2. JNAPS in Chicago firing on all of their cylinders and Dries was there to hold that back line and he didn't falter, not once. So uh, G2 upsetting, I would say, NRG coming in with Dries, the young gun. They get it done. And to break down all that action, we're going to head back to the desk.